became leader in uh, June, 3rd of June. I was uh, born in a small village outside of Faversham. I went to work in London. Um, I was elected in 2015 and um, I have, was re-elected again in 2019. I played the sport all my life. I think sport's really important. I play football for South England, played hockey for Fern Bay and Cliftonville and I play golf now at uh, North Holland and have been a uh, played at Westgate. Being the leader, I mean, I had to hit the ground running, obviously. Um, it's not easy when you come in mid-term. The main thing really is that I like to get out and meet the people to see what the communities are up to. Um, I treat the residents of Thanet in the way that I used to in my previous jobs. The shareholders, we were accountable to shareholders and I sort of think of residents as shareholders of, of the district. My main focus is on um, trying to leverage as much inward investment into the Thanet area because I believe that we've got some golden opportunities here and we have to get that investment in. That's the whole point of the government with the, with the levelling up funds, with the Margate Town deal, with the, the high street funds. This is just really to show the big investors that, look, the government's willing to invest in it. And only um, a couple of weeks ago, um, I met along with the um, MP and the Deputy Leader, um, the Secretary of State, um, Robert Jenrick, came here. We met him at the station, we walked him along the seafront, we showed him the old town, we walked up the high street, and just exampled about how this is the sort of area that the money the government are, are injecting will help. I recently went to Ramsgate uh, Football Club who were running the, um, the HAB programme. It was quite humbling when I walked in there uh, and there's all 200 children all running about in there and it's quite humbling to think that you know this is all going on and, and I don't think people quite realise how much effort, you know, what they put into it to run, the, to run these clubs. And, there's a lot of the community that come together with that. There's, and the community in Thanet is fantastic. You know, we have people that go out and regularly litter pick. Um, they're all unsung heroes, you know, and unpaid heroes, um, but they just like their area to look good. Very early in my um, role as, as leader, was the uh, major incident with Southern Water occurred with the failure of the Fullness pumping station. And like all the residents and the businesses of Thanet, I was totally outraged at, um, that this had happened yet again. So on, on the Sunday following, um, I said to my wife, I'm going to write to the Chief Executive of Southern Water and just tell him exactly how I feel and um, demand that he comes down to a meeting I basically demanded not what what I would call compensation, but I just felt that as a gesture of goodwill to Thanet District Council and the distress that it's caused the, the area, um, that I felt that they should make a compensation payment. So um, that has, was agreed and I'm pleased to say the, the funds have been transferred into the Thanet District Council's uh, account. and. Um, that has been ring fenced, and I will put that to to good to good causes within Margate, Ramsgate, and Broadstairs to the benefit of the residents. I also asked for um, the chief executive of Southern Water to come and address um, a members' briefing, which he did on Monday. And um, again, it was um, he was a, he was able to answer the questions that that as that members obviously have been asking since the incident. I think that it was a it was a good and constructive meeting. And also he outlined the Southern Waters plans for the um, infrastructure and the improvements to the infrastructure for Thanet. So that hopefully we, we don't ever have to experience this again.